Hello, hello everyone. Happy Monday. Super psyched as always to be here. Again, my name is Sarah Krajewski and I lead our Monday Instagram live chats. Um, today we will be joined with Jen Russell who presented at the Art Ed Now conference, um, which just happened recently and um, also is an amazing high school art education teacher. So she will be joining us shortly. Happy to see everybody here as you're joining the chat. You're welcome to tell us where you're joining from today, how your Monday was, drop a few emojis in for us. Looks like Jen will be here. She just joined, so we'll have her, her enter the chat. Hope you all are surviving and doing okay um, today. So hang in there, my friends. It's going to be okay. Uh, we'll get Jen in here as well. Go Jen. Maybe if y'all joined um, the Art Ed Now conference, give us like a hands up whoop whoop in the chat uh, so we can see who was all here. Hey, Jen, how's it going? Hi. Good, how are you? Good, good. What are your fabulous earrings? I have to see um, yeah, my actually my sorority little sister is who is also an art teacher. Um, in KDISD, she makes these and um, I, I am a, a number one fan. So they're amazing. Made. They're so beautiful. Well, give her my yeah. regards. I'm obsessed with earrings and they're so fabulous. I know, I'm so great? happy to talk to you today. How are you doing? Um, a little cold. I just okay. want to say we're in Texas and uh, it's in like the single degree, like single digit degree <laughs> weather and it's uh, we're not equipped. Yep. We're not equipped. We're not ready. You guys aren't ready. See, we're in Wisconsin. It's yeah. super cold, but we know this weather. We know what it's like. We're prepared. Yeah, yeah we're not ready. Uh, <laughs> things are happening. Rolling blackouts are a thing. So no. yeah, we're not ready. It's okay. I mean... <sighs> Listen, we're, you know, it's just another thing. You throw in a crock pot yeah. of chili and then you call it a day. Yeah, um, you're good. Yeah, and so we're good. So everyone is home. There's snow outside, which is not a thing for us. Right. So uh, it's been a good time. It's, I've, <laughs> I've enjoyed it. Lots of snow <laughs> angels have been made. I think it's been great. Um, but, te you know, statewide, we're struggling a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> Hang in there. Appreciate the positive attitude for sure. Well, can you give everybody that is just joining the chat a little bit of background of maybe who you are, what, what yeah. level you teach, and just what teaching looks like for you this year since we know it comes in a variety of, of versions. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, hi, y'all. Um, my name is Jen Russell. Um, that's the typical hello you get. Hey, y'all. Um, so um, I am in... Carrollton, Texas. And if you don't know where that is, I just say Dallas area, North VFW. Um, I teach high school. So I have sophomores through seniors. And I teach everything, art one, all the way through AP, 2D, and drawing. Um, and add photography, because I finally have a photography student. So that's cool. Nice. And I'm finally teaching photography um, virtually. So Teaching for me right now looks chaotic, but it's my favorite. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have both virtual and in-person students. And last semester, I did mostly virtual, and then I had one in-person class. So I have dressed everything uh -huh. uh, because 2020 calls for flexibility, and we're still yes. doing it. So, yes. Um, yeah, so I have everything. So it's been a, it's been a cool different learning experience but I think it's just been it's been for the best um you know it has not been easy do not hear me say that it's been super chill and easy it hasn't but yeah. I think it's gonna in the long run make everybody um just a better teacher so yeah I'm completely. super excited about it I love I love hearing that word flexibility too because I think that's <laughs> such a huge part of it it's like you you really just have to be a thousand times more flexible than ever before because stuff is changing every minute it's crazy jen you got a lot of fans in the chat today girl i'm excited <laughs> they're here for you so y'all if you want to if you want to chat with any more questions you're welcome to but the next is kind of like the topic of our day today is embracing your weird just because you gotta keep it positive you gotta keep it weird gotta keep it fun in order to make it like doable right hi yeah so can you just tell us like a little bit about how that um how that title came to be you call your kiddos like coming to weird island or like yes. embracing their weird just tell um, us a little bit about the weird so recently i would say in the last few years it's been a thing that they've coined themselves i always just call everybody just different little nicknames um you know i are okay where we live 
in the giant building that I teach in. Um, we have like 210 staff members. I am just one of those. And I service um, with Art One as a whole, our department services a lot of students, but as they move on, it becomes less and less kids, right? And so my students become very uh, territorial over the fact that they're art kids. Uh-huh. And, and where we live, it's this like dark, <laughs> And the lights just aren't working. Okay, it's this dark curved hallway. And if um, I see some of my kids are in here. So you know what I'm talking about when I say that the (laughs) creepy curved hallway is where we live. Okay, it is an island of weird. And my kids have started coining the term that they're the locals, like they're the natives, like anybody else who comes in here, they are not they're like, "Mm, what's going on? Yeah, they're just like, you don't belong here. This is our room. Like, what are you doing? Whatever. Right. And so um, I always just say, like, welcome weirdos, freaks and geeks and nerds and oddballs and everybody else in between who didn't ever feel like they had a place. You live in 1110 now. You're one of us. Right. Yes. And so, um, yeah, I'm like, embrace it. Like, wh- whoever called you weird before, cool. Welcome. Let's talk about what else you've been called, because I guarantee anybody, somebody in here is going to feel that, um, if not me, right? Somebody else in this who sits at the table with you is going to understand they're going to have common feelings I'm like this is the place we house the strays bring your friends tell them that this (laughs) is a place that they can hang out um we used to have lunch and it was like open lunch yeah and it was like do that yes (laughs) right when you you know back back in the day um yeah where you just we just unleashed 3,500 students upon the building and they were supposed to find a place to live and I just immediately opened my door and I was like just come, just come because out there it's the wild and we don't know. Just come, just come, just come. You're safe yes. here. You have a table here. You don't have to eat on the floor. You, just come and bring your friends. That's okay. Um, we, we, can, we can live together. We can be together. We can be friends. I promise I'm not scary. I'm just really loud and it freaks <laughs> people out. And that is okay. You too can be loud. Um, you, you don't ha- or you don't have to. You can be quiet. You don't even have to talk to me. Just come. <laughs> Just come sit. And so I just love being a place of gathering. Um, that's how my, my parents' house was always a place of gathering. I love that my house is a place of gathering. And the place where I spend the most time, which is my classroom, is a place of gathering. Like, yeah. just come. Be weird. Be different. Be loud. Be quiet. Just come. You're welcome at 1110. That's it. You're one of us forever. You're a local I, now. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> Jen, it's like, I want to come to your art class because... Come. There's, I, I will. I mean, I can't right now. <laughs> like, I you know, will. back in the day, you, you I know, know. We'll, we could. We'll, we'll get there again. It'll be good. But I just love, like, sometimes we forget to just say the stuff, right? Just say, you're welcome here. Say, yes. I want you in this classroom. Say, this is a place you can come to hang out and be free and be loved no matter what, right? And sometimes, like, in a high school specifically, I feel like there are those places, but it's nice to know that there's multiple places of those, and the art room is, like, just perfectly built for that. So it sounds like you're building a community of uh, support and acceptances, and and as much as your kiddos that are maybe, like, living in the art room are like, who's that? Like, Mm -hmm. who's walking in, right? But they're still hopefully accepting and, right, like, they're happy to have new faces. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. They just, they're like, explain yourself (laughs) and where you came from. Yeah, explain who are you would would really go a long way. And it does with my kids and they're like, okay, feel free, scavenge, do yes. what you need to do. Right. Yeah, and so, it's yeah, the they're territory. pretty good at it. They're just protective. I love it. So let's talk just a little bit more about your classroom. Speaking of like building a beautiful space in a community where kids feel welcome, there's a part of your room that has a quote on it and then a bunch of photographs. Yes. I know um, during the Art Ed Now conference, which we'll chat just a little bit about in a second because you just presented at that conference. Um, can, can you just tell us about the, the quote and, and how that plays a role in your room? Yeah, I just mentioned it at um, the <laughs> the Now Conference, and I, I was trying to get to the chat. So if you asked me about it, I was like trying to type it, but it's kind of a long quote. Um, and me being a product of um, a, a kid who lived through fully 100% aware and cognizant in the 2000s, which I, you can, my kids can drag me all they want. I don't care. The 2000s were like the best, and I will uh-huh. die on that hill. Um, pretty good. Right. I'm saying, um, one tree hill was like a massive thing for me. And, um, there's a quote at the very end of the show, which 
do not get me started on the show. But anyway, um, and it's it, it just resonated with me. And I, you know, like a, like a 2000 skin, I wrote it on my like notebook, like I wrote it everywhere. And then I, I got stickers and like it was like a whole thing. So I, um, a few years ago, one of my students who does beautiful, like natural calligraphy and lettering, I was like, Riss, can you do this for me? Like, can you, can we, can we do this? I want a black wall in my classroom, which um, I didn't ask permission about, like, let's not talk about that. But um, (laughs) I want, (laughs) I wanted this quote, because I teach 16 to 18 year olds. And I think that this is so important. And um, the quote is, and I'm going to read it because I specifically got it so that I, because I'm not in my classroom, y'all. I couldn't travel today, which is so sad, Um, but I'm going to read it. So it's, um, okay, it goes. It's a story, oldest story in the world. One day you're 17 and planning for someday, and then quietly, without you ever really noticing, someday is today, and that someday is yesterday, and this is your life. And I just feel like you never really realize until like senior year you're like where did the last four years go and you were grinding and pushing and doing so much especially my kids um I teach at a very competitive high school and I'm like y'all take a breather it's okay do art um if you don't have it in your space in your schedule right like come during lunch or after school whatever do do something for yourself it's not always about the academics like they will be there I promise college will be there like take a beat and realize like, this is it. Like, this is your yeah. life. You're living it as we go. And with that, I wanted to put pictures of like stuff that happened in, you know, in my classroom and throughout the year and pictures of the kids and I and, um, and someone was like, so what do I have to do to get on this wall? I was like, I live in my <laughs> classroom. I don't know. Just be here. Yeah. Like take a, I don't know. You breathe every day in my classroom. Like it's okay. Just be here. Um, and I, I, take pictures with my kids I photograph their artwork and it goes on like graduation announcements like did you get into school and you didn't think you were going to like I staple it onto my wall like I'm like let me make a copy of that because we busted tail to get there like Uh and it is a collective we um you know like my kids celebrate each other and it it's weird to see that it takes three years to get there because I'm lucky and fortunate enough to have some of my kids for three years in a row right um, but anything goes on the wall. Did we go to homecoming, you know, back in the day? Um, <laughs> did we do prom? Like, did it, you know, whatever, like dress up days, any notes? Like I have just stuff everywhere. Sensory alert for some of my kids. Cause they're like, is there like a wall that you don't have that's like covered? I'm like, no, I'm, <laughs> is that what you're looking for? A white wall in an art classroom? Like, no, it's not happening for me. Um, sorry, but like, yeah, I just have mementos and stuff for my kids because I'm like, we lived this life together in this room. The time that we got stuck together because of that drill. Um, do you remember the time that we went through a pandemic and then we had to do virtual class and it was like crazy? Okay. Yeah. That time. Right. All that's going to go on the wall eventually. But you know, I'm like, it's been years and years of collecting these things. And I've been at the school for seven years and I've been so fortunate enough to make it home, but I wanted it to be their home too. And some of them have older siblings that have come through my classroom and it's cool to go for them to go find those kids. Um, you know, they're, they're older siblings and they're like, Oh my God, it's my sister. I'm like, I know now you get to be on the wall. Oh, (laughs) Yeah, that's so so special. It's basically like, like a yearbook, but just for art, right? Yeah, it's like your little special, like, weird yearbook where it's like, it's just just our little thing, right? But it just encompasses so much. And I'm seeing somebody in the chat too. um, She was saying it would be great for like our little ones too. like, I always save process photos because I'm trying to take, you know, trying to take pictures of the kids working and all that stuff. And then you have this whole collection of photos. Right. Like, why not just use that collection and save them and just display all the things we're constantly doing because there's always so much documenting that happens. I yes. love that. Um, yes. Hopefully, Jen, when you have a moment, maybe you can, like, snap a pic of that and post it on your Instagram so that I some know. people who are like, what's the quote? Because you know I they're going to ask. Um, can take a peek and see see what it is, and maybe some of kind of like the stuff you put up on the wall, if that's okay with pictures. Oh yeah, for sure. It sounds amazing, and I think like I love to a kid maybe coming in and not knowing what the vibe is of the room, and just seeing all these welcoming faces and the kids excited and kids creating on the wall. You're like, oh yeah, you can get the sense that this is a place that you want to be. 
Yeah. You know? And I mean, that's the hope. I just want everyone to like, be okay with themselves being themselves in my class. Like you don't need to be anybody else except for you. And I know that that's super overplayed and cliche for my kids, but I'm like, I promise I already like you. Like just yeah. come in, just come yeah. in. I promise I already like you. <laughs> I I, lo- I love that. I promise I already like you. That's perfect. Like that's you don't have it. to do anything to convince me or I'm already on your side. Yep. That's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> well, speaking of creating welcoming environments, that is what you presented about at the Art and Now conference. So can you just give us a little recap about some of the um, special things that you found helpful for you to try to make a welcoming environment? Because as we know, we're virtual, we're hybrid, we're in person, we're whatever, stuff's weird. Like, what can we do to be as welcoming as possible to our kids to connect with them? Right. Um. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So... Um, and I'm like reading comments as I go to, I know. So I'm, I'm like, trying, trying to, to like, <laughs> for you. you're good. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So the first thing that I do, and again, last year, you know, March, we're coming up on a year. What a, what a wonderful anniversary this is. Um, mm-hmm. usually what I do is I like, okay, I jokingly say this, but it's like very true. I like stalk my kids. So if I know that this student has had art one and um they don't think that they're lights out but for me everybody's like lights out until you prove otherwise and so I'm like hey listen I think you could do drawing too I think you could do painting too hey you know what you did really good in the 3d portion of art one why don't you check out like sculpture and ceramics Mm. I don't teach painting or sculpture and ceramics I don't teach any of that I only teach drawing but my coworkers do. So I'm like, yeah. our program needs consistent, like lights out. Great. Lights. That's what I mean. I'm sorry. It's like my own weird thing. Um, yeah. So when I say lights out, I'm like lights out. Amazing. Like lights out. Great. My kids think that to move on, they need to be in their words, which is like not a thing that I like to say Picasso's. And I'm like, mm. have you seen Picasso's work? First of all, let's talk about that. Um, they're like, you know, I need to be Picasso. I'm like, abstract Why? artist. <laughs> and they're like, no, like, I have to be, you know, like, the picture needs to look like my drawing, my drawing needs to look like the picture. I'm like, that's hyper realism. And that's not what we do all the time. Right. right. And so I, I try to go find those kids. And then I just give them a little invite. And I just made these on Canva. Um, and because I'm a geek on top of being like an art nerd, right? I made them <laughs> Star Wars themed. Obviously. Because obviously, what else do you do? Also Harry Potter, but my kids tend to drag me for that. We'll talk about that later. But (laughs) I made them Star Wars themed because I was like, you know what? Join me in the art side. Like, join me on the art side. We have cookies. Um, We have fun colors. We have weird language that no one really understands. Gouache. What is gouache, right? I don't know. You could call someone gouache and they would think that it's an insult, but it's not. (laughs) <laughs> right they don't know that unless yeah. you're a local of the island but you know what I want you to keep coming to the island so here's this little invite you've been invited to drawing too I think you're amazing you could totally do it if you have it in the schedule if you have a space join us um and I will put you in whatever class fits in your schedule but here's your invite whatever I also email it to mom and dad um I mail it home sometimes um, I used to put glitter in it. People don't like that, apparently. I love glitter, but that's a that's a whole thing. But um, yeah, so I just invite kids to my class. Like, hey, come, yeah. come be a part of this. Yeah. Um, and that is so, it, paper, I know it costs the school money, but it doesn't cost you personally anything. <laughs> that small piece of paper, like the kids are like, I got invited. And right, I'm like, like you, you sure did. To, right, to create a special invite to be like, I see you. I want you to, do, right. like, to be here with us as part of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. I, I just, I send that invite electronically. Um, I send that invite, like I print it out for them and put them in an envelope. Um, like I write their name all fancy and I just leave it on their desk. It doesn't say who it comes from. Obviously, it's for me. They figure it out once they open it. Right. But yeah, it just, it comes from me. And so there it is. So that's the first thing that I do. Once they're in my room, I want to know them. I mean, if they haven't already, like, if they haven't taken a class from me, um, cool, that's fine. I need to get to know them. Uh, Typically, I will do, like, walkthroughs in everybody else's class of Art One just because I want to see what's going on. 
Also, it gets me away from my own class. I mean, during my conference period and whatever. And so that's the best way to avoid my actual work is just to go <laughs> going on in everybody else's classroom. Uh -huh. um, yeah, like I take visits all the time. You will always see me roaming the hallway because I'm such a big avoider. Um, <laughs> I get everything done, y'all. Do not stress. I just procrastinate quite heavily um, because I just want to be in an art classroom. I just want to see other kids. I just yeah. don't want to do paperwork. What is paperwork? We don't know her. Right. So... <laughs> I'm always stalking kids. It sounds so awful. And like the kids know, the kids know that if I have to go find a kid, they're like, oh, listen, she's good. Like she'll go find you. And I'm like, my abilities are so good. I will go get you. <laughs> um, yeah. So that invite it works. Once I get them in my class, then I throw out a welcome survey. I want to know what, what they're about. Um, I only get their legal name on our Skyward thing, which is like our attendance and grading and report card thing. Um, management system, I guess, if you really want to use the words. Yeah. Um, I don't like real words. I make up my own doohickeys. But, uh, right, lights out, girl. Right. Yeah, I mean, lights out, amazing. Um, listen, you'll learn so much vocabulary from me that is useless and meaningless, <laughs> y'all. It's going to be great. But my kids sound just like me, so whoa oh, I there. Love it. Yes. Yeah, they're like, oh, my God, I sound like Russ. I'm like, you're welcome. You're so welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, so I give them a welcome survey. And it's like, what is your first name? What is your last name? But hey, what is the preferred name you'd like for me to call you? Because here's the thing. We have our demographics are super diverse. So we have um, like we run the gamut. Right. We're super diverse. We're one of the more diverse um, schools in our district, which is great. And like it is a badge that we hold on to. Right. But I have everything from students who have a different name in a different language, but then they prefer to be called something else. Um, I have trans kids that aren't quite out yet, but they still don't like to hear their dead name. And that's the thing that they're going through. But how do I tell this crazy lady who's so loud? Who she can't <laughs> tell everybody or is she right. And so this is the time. It's just a Google form. And I throw the QR code on the board. Um, and it's just like, hey, tell me about yourself. What's your first name? What's your last name? What is your preferred name? And then I also do pronouns. Yeah. Um, because I find that they're super important. And this is some learning that I've been doing the last couple of years. Um, I just want to make sure that I use the correct pronouns for you. Um, yeah, are absolutely. Sh she, her, him, his, they, theirs. Okay, let's talk about it. Like, and th there are some kids that don't know what pronouns mean. And then that is a learning, like that's less than one, right? Because totally, that's how totally. we establish an environment of respect in my class, like, hey, you know, sometimes people, whatever, let's talk about that, and, or they go by a different pronoun, or they go by a different name, but remember that, like, what they would like to be referred to, we must all respect, yes. and so um, that's a big thing in my classroom, so I ask for preferred pronouns, and then I ask silly questions, like, tell me a fun fact, and I don't say about themselves, I always say fun fact, and I, so I get like a few kids that pick up on it, and they're like, "Did you know that a whale <laughs> shark?" And I'm like, "Perfect, that's, got it." That's what so I want. I, right. So I get a um, random fact of the day, <laughs> and yeah. I always know who those kids are and what their sense of humor is immediately. And then I get kids that like are like me, like when people are like, "Oh, tell me a fun fact," I'm like, "Oh, um, Spanish is my native language." And they're like, "What?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, fun fact." So don't <laughs> talk mess about anybody in Spanish because I can definitely hear you. <laughs> um, you know, or like, so I asked for a fun fact and then I asked for anything else I should know about you. And then I get fun things like, Hey, I'm allergic to all sorts of nuts. <laughs> like, and I'm like, okay, good. We can't Great. eat in class right now. That's perfect. But I need to know that I would yep. have gotten that paper from the nurse eventually, but sometimes of it course. takes a few days and yeah. I'm like, mm, this is important. Um, uh -huh. or it's like, I'm new to Texas, which was the one that I've gotten recent, right? Yes. Or I just moved from this state and this state and this state um, because of the pandemic. And mm -hmm. that is real and relevant and things that I need to know because they're on a different plane than my normal kids, right? So my kids that have been here, they know the drill, they know about bathroom passes, they know what, what the law is, but these kids don't. So I need to make sure that I go back over all those things. So the welcome survey, it's like five questions long. It's something that I do as a trickling in. And then I don't call attendance. 
I use the welcome survey to call attendance, but I just use um, on our Skyward, it has their pictures. So as they're trickling in, like I make sure that I like match pictures oh, yeah, yeah. until I get the preferred names. And then I call those names because again, I, I don't want to be harmful or disrespectful or pronounce a name incorrectly. And um, the amount of time that I've gotten, well, they've just all like teachers have always just called me this because they can't say my name. I'm like, tell them until they pronounce it correctly. Exactly. Yes. Tell them, correct them <laughs> respectfully until they can pronounce it correctly because it's your name. Yep. It, it, it is. It's a respect thing. It's your name. That's it. Completely. And so it, it's not, it, it's something that we all have to get used to here. It's not anything well, or I just change it so that, I mean, it's close enough. Let's know. Not nope. close enough. No, no, no. There's something, there's something so very powerful about names specifically. If you call a kid by their name and intentionally make sure you say hello to them, even like if you're virtual and you see, see kids popping into the chat, hello, hello, like say yes. the names of each of the kids that are coming in so that if, even if you don't interact with them that day or they don't answer a question or show you their work or whatever, there's still that acknowledgement. Like I see you. Right. Yeah. And that's what you're, that's exactly what you're talking about, Jen, is the fact that those connections, that survey, those questions, like asking for what kids prefer, all of that is just to say, how do you want me to see you so that I can give you the very best of, of me trying to respect who you are? You know what I mean? That's right. so, so perfect. Yeah. And even, I mean, even your virtual kids and I, you know, I asked this question because on our uh, virtual learning management system, it, it pops up like their name because of their school email. And I was like, is there, any, is there a way they can change that so that they can use like their preferred name? And so there is a way you could change it. Um, oh. You know, cause yeah. I, my name is Jennifer. I say that question mark because I, it's hard to, to like say that out loud. Cause I'm like, nobody calls me that. Um, <laughs> right. But somebody called me that and, they were like, I've been calling you for like a good two minutes. I'll like, say, oh yeah, I don't answer to that. Mm -hmm. Fun fact. Like, and you know, my kids will say it because they say, it, they see it on my ID all the time. They're like, Jennifer, and I don't answer because that's not what people call me. And they're like, Russ, we've been calling you forever. I was like, oh yeah, fun. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. <laughs> that's like my legal name. But nobody really calls me that. And they're like, what do they call you? I'm like, oh, you can earn that later. But right. I'm like, who? Jennifer I'm like that's not a thing <laughs> right and so I can imagine that it's the same for my kids and so yeah I figured out they, there was a way for them to change it and so I was like you can change your name I mean it, I please don't put like Mac Daddy 307 like no that's not a thing that I'm gonna <laughs> like, acknowledge what's your actual name that yeah, you like, you. yeah like if you go you know if you have a shortened version like if your thing says Benjamin and you're Ben like you can change it Mm -hmm. <laughs> right mm -hmm. um and so yeah so the welcome survey serves all sorts of purposes for me and like I said I haven't called attendance in a, in, a, in a good minute I would say the last two years just because I want to be more respectful of pronouncing names correctly and I will go sit next to a kid and be like okay tell me again I'm gonna give myself it. yeah I will get it I'm gonna give myself till Friday tell me again every time you see me tell me again until I get it tell me again one more time Tell me again. Got it. And they're yeah. like, I feel so bad. I'm like, do not feel bad. Who, who's Don't the feel one bad. feeling bad? Right. Yeah. Right. Don't feel bad. I need to work on it. And I need to take ownership of that. And that's not anything. And I, I try to explain this to my coworkers a lot. I'm like, it's not, you're not at fault here. Like, we're just learning. It's different. We're learning. Right. And that's okay. But just do it. Do the work. That's it. I love <laughs> it. it. I work. love it. I love it. Yeah, so welcome survey serves a purpose. The invite serves a purpose. And then I do little badges for my kids. Um, like there's mental cookies that I hand out, which are, again, I made it on Canva, you guys. I stole it from um, when I was a brand new baby teacher um, teaching in Oak Cliff, which is great. And I miss it. And I just hope my Oak Cliff kids are doing well and magical things. Um, yeah, another teacher was like, he was a U.S. history teacher and great, amazing, astounding, super talented teacher. And, like, the kids were, like, raising their hand left and right. And I was Whoa. like, oh, my God, what, what is that? Anyway, Y'all, these are eighth graders, so it's kind of tough. Um, and he was, like, literally just tossing, 
like air. And I was like, what are you, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, those are mental cookies I'm handing out to my kids. I said. Like literally like, just doing the motion? Yeah, he's just like throwing it out. He's like, you get a mental cookie. Yes, way to go for that input. And I was like. Are they cookie, catching them? Yeah. I was like, as a cookie connoisseur, my friend, I'm sad that it's not real cookies. And then what do you mean a mental cookie? And he's like, anytime that they have input or something to say, whether it's right or wrong, he's like, I'm not looking for content. I'm looking for them to participate. Yeah. So they get a mental cookie when they participate. And let me tell you, that's been awesome in my virtual classes because my kids don't turn on their camera. Mm -hmm. So they just are turning like my lecture on and especially my nine o'clock. Okay, they're probably asleep and just turning it on to get attendance and that's okay but if they do participate I'm like oh my god mental cookie and so sometimes it's like our chat is going it's like blasting off too quickly for me to like put the graphic up so I'll just do the cookie emoji like yep. yes you get a mental cookie yes you get a mental <laughs> cookie very Oprah of me because like my gosh she's like my idol right but yeah. like you're tossing out mental cookies left and right and like I also have these little buttons and these stickers that are like Hebron art because we I, again, want you to be a part, right? Yeah. So we have the sticker that, hey, you made it. You made it through art. Here's your sticker. Post it. Put it on your water bottle. Put it on your laptop. Put it on your iPad. Whatever. Wait, do I have it? Oh, my God. I do have it. Get it, girl. That's it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So um, a kid designed it for us. And that's I so was fun. like, if we were to have, like, a department – design what would it look like but it still has to have our super h on it and so i mean it was just cool because they took ownership of it and now we have i just do one order of stickers like every two three years um i just placed another one because as i was gearing up for the conference i was like i don't have any stickers to show you guys <laughs> um, so, yeah so i just put in another order i'm waiting for my other order stickers and then my kids will get it and they love stickers it goes on their water bottle it goes on their laptop it goes on all their their junk and it's like, hey, you are part of art. I love Forever it. tattooed on your water. I bottle. love it. I love it. Well, the sticker is like a physical thing too, which I mean, like, hello, who doesn't want a sticker, right? Listen, I do sticker. not have that sticker. Uh, Why well, do I have that I'll sticker? I'll get you, girl. <laughs> Don't you worry. But like, that's the thing is sometimes the physical thing, just to, as a reminder, is good. Yes. But I also love the mental cookies because it still acknowledges, but it also doesn't really require that much from you. It's just like, right. It's just a more fun or different way to interact. And yep. it's just like, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's, you know, sometimes the kids need the reminder, like art is a safe place to guess, to try, to share. Yes. Because there's always that fear where you're like, oh, I don't know what analogous colors are, so I don't want to guess. It's like, but just guess. Good, yeah. You're close. Who can be a helper, right? At the elementary level, we're always trying to um, try to just give that safety um, to yes. the too. And I feel that right. as well, where it's like, you're asking for participation. Um, I love it. Okay, so I know y'all are excited about the stickers, but I have one more question for you, Jen, before I do our sticker question. And um, it's a kind of a fun way to, for us to end, just because this year has felt very, very long. I don't know about you, but it's kind of like, have we done nine years in one year? I don't know, maybe. Yeah, we have. It's been a long stretch, but we're it's almost been a long there, stretch. So guys. We're almost there. Oh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna push. We're gonna keep that attitude as best we can. What our what is uh, what we're able to do, um, even if it might be kind of hard. But I'm curious if you have any words of affirmation or advice or just words of encouragement for educators and artists and students as we move forward to kind of get that final push at the end of the year here. Yes. Okay. I know it's been tough because in a week I go through the roller coaster of emotions. I'm yep. like. On Monday, I'm like, okay, it's going to be a new week. Let's do this. We can do it. How many Mondays do we have? It's not that many. It's 36 weeks. And we're on like, we do quarters, so like nine weeks. I'm like, we're on the third nine weeks, y'all. Where, where did it go? We <laughs> got it. Yes. And then Tuesday happens and something blows up because it <laughs> always does. And then you're like, it's over. I'm yep. done here. I can't do this anymore. Right. Or uh, like this week, it's seven degrees outside. I this is a, the only turtleneck I own. How am I going <laughs> to make it? Right. <laughs> because I, okay, honestly, I'm a little dramatic sometimes, along with being loud. 
I'm a, I, I look, look at the earrings. I live for the drama. Okay. Oh yeah. But it's, oh, yeah. it's only of my own accord. Um, and I like to just make random scenes and <laughs> make random play <laughs> happen in my classroom. Right. But at the end of the day, you are here for your kids. It's yeah. to make their experience great. So you could be like your email, my email blows up every day. Because along with being an art teacher, I do student council and I do our student section and like the new arena just opened up and basketball and like, oh my God, and softball starting and I don't know what to do about that. What do you want me to do about that, right? But yeah. at the end of the day, your kids are in your class. That's your island. Everybody else needs to take a boat to get to the island. And you can say, no, you don't have to be on my island today. You're not going to infiltrate the island vibes. You're just not. That's yeah. it. So you could hit like mute on the sound of the email because I do it all the time. All the time. Yep. Put a playlist on. Art Room Jams is where I live all the time. My kids call it hippie music play your hippie music if it makes you happy because in turn yeah. <laughs> it's gonna make them happy you're gonna set up a good environment because you're gonna feel great no one can infiltrate your island without you knowing without your consent I'm pretty sure Eleanor Roosevelt said that right no one can infiltrate your island without your consent that's the quote oh, I think exactly. that's how it goes <laughs> it's not look I make up random similar. things We're all good. the time I make up things all the time. I tell my kids that all the time. Like, I don't know what I'm saying. Half the things when I say it. But as long as you keep your environment, your environment, and art environment, everything's going to be great because you're there for the kids. Like, ultimately. Yeah. We can't control the things that happen. Um, and this is a great takeaway that I got from you specifically. And I did it with my kids. And we talked about it. And like, it took a whole class period, especially with my AP kids, because they're on, like, high alert right now. Yeah. There's, Super pressure. Right. There's only so many things that we can control and everything else will get done, might get done, might not get done. But like at the end of the day, your kids are the circle. Like yeah. your kids are the circle. You, yes, protect the weird. Protect oh my God. Protect the weird perfect. baby. Oh my gosh. That's great. Right. So you can only control your kids, only control what happens in your classroom and like the rest will fall in line, will not fall in line. The email might get answered. The paperwork may or may not get done. But at the end of the day, you're definitely here for their experience and you're making their experience the best possible during a time when they can't control anything. Completely. And so you're adding to, to their stability, to their control. You're adding to making their overall experience of this nonsense the best. Yeah. And so... Um, I take that to heart because every day I'm like, oh my God, like I have to pump myself up to get out of the car, right? But yeah. then I'm like, I get to hang out with kids all day. It's fine. It's Especially gonna, high yeah. schoolers, you could talk, talk it out with them and they're just like, you okay? And I'm like, you know what? Let's talk about this, right? <laughs> but that helps them out. That lets them know that you're not on this weird pedestal of like teacher hierarchy. You are just a human, just like them, experiencing this very weird thing just like them and you guys can get through it together in this like environment plus make some cool art while you're at it why not yes you know? that is that is it to a T, jen i feel like it's like obviously we know those connections with our kiddos are the priority but it's so much easier to have those like i'm gonna open up a little bit i'm struggling today are you how's it going or do you feel weird i felt weird three days this week out of five like all that <laughs> stuff just reminds them like it's yeah. okay <laughs> you're not alone in the way you feel that. And then, and then just kind of building that relationship a little bit further. So that is great advice. And it's just that reminder, like, y'all, we all feel all the things. Don't you ever feel like you're alone in feeling like you're having a weird day or an off day, or you want to stop or like selfish that it's going well, or you have the time or you can breathe. Like all of those things are okay. And you're never alone in feeling that. So perfect reminder for us. Right. Now we got to do the sticker because I know y'all are excited. So we got our holograph sticker here. Ooh. Now, for those of you that haven't been in the chat before, here's how you can get your hands on one. All you have to do is answer the question first in the chat and I will mail you a sticker. So um, <laughs> the question is, what level does Jen teach? You all gimme, that's a gimme, come I on. I know, I always wait and I'm like, come on you guys. If you're one of your kids is going to get this, I bet. What level does, oh does Jen teach? 
You guys, also, it's the first one that I see. Do we take 10 is. to 12? Yes. Okay, there we go. Allison is a winner today. A-L. Is that one L or two? A-L-L-I-S-O-N underscore C-H-A-Y-N-E. Allison, you're my winner. Woo! Woo! Yay! Woo! Yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you, everyone, for joining us today. And Jen, thank you so much for chatting with us and your beautiful energy, your positive attitude, and just your willingness to share. Um, those of you that weren't at the Art Ed Now conference, see if you can join us for the next one because it is always filled with great and amazing it's presentations so like, from people like Jen. So, um... <laughs> so feel free to join us then. I hope you all have a great Monday. Thank you so, so much, Jen, and have a wonderful evening. Thank you, guys. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.